All right, hey everyone, this is Ferocious Lava. We're back with round number two. Um, this hand has two parts of Tron, but uh, nothing else. And, you know, it's got some big spells, but no way to search up the other piece. But I'm gonna keep this. I'm I'm feeling in a risky mood. And our our opponent mulligan to six. Also, I want to point that out. And we are on the draw, which is always nice. Always good to be on the draw. When we don't know what we're going to find. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, sometimes that's how it goes with Tron, guys. Is we go turn one, draw step, into Tron. So we're going to have third turn, natural Tron, then we have double Karn. So hopefully our opponent will play a spell. Um, our, opponent could be, our opponent could be playing Merfolk. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But our our they could be playing Merfolk. I don't know. Because, um, you know, they've only played two blue lands and an Aether Vial. I like these uh, full art lands. Those are nice. Oh, they got to be from the same set, though. Come on, sloppy. I'm just kidding on the sloppy. I, I, I do that all the time. I have so many mismatched lands. I'm fairly convinced we're playing Merfolk now. So our opponent's probably gonna, yeah. So our opponent keeps leaving one mana up, so it makes me think they might have a spell pierce. Um, which is a possibility, and I don't like that. But we kind of don't have a lot going on here, so we're gonna try and throw out Karn, see if he gets spell pierced. He does not get spell pierced, so we're going to exile the Aether Vial. Because what's going to happen is he's going to instant speed in a bunch of lords, and that's what's going to kill us. Because we're not going to worry about a Silver Gale of Death and a Muta Vault. What we are going to worry about is a Silver Gale of Death and a Muta Vault with two lords get zapped into play with the Aether Vial. See, he would have certainly uh, sent that in. So he's going to kill our dude, uh, and that's fine, because we have another one. Hopefully we'll draw red mana, or something that can make red mana, you know, even a sphere or something, so we can fire spout, and then I'll feel very good. All right. God, I like it when plans come together. So let's... I wonder if we should pop this for green. Yeah, it's probably smarter to pop this for green. And then we're going to scry. We're going to sylvan scrying for a grove of the burn willows. Play the grove of the burn willows. And then, whoops. Not to have that one for green. Tap it for red. And kill our, uh, get a two for one on our opponent, which is good. And now we have, we always have that red mana in case we draw another uh, pyroclasm type effect, or we've got green. Uh, I mean, we drew the forest anyway for our ancient searings or our silver scrying. Sure. Yeah, master of the pearl trident, not real scary. All right, a worm coil engine. That is nice. So let's see. We have seven, eight, nine, ten mana. What can we do with ten mana? I'm trying not to. I don't want Karn to die. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go. I guess we'll just Sylvan Scrying for... Eh, you know what we should have done. I messed that one up. Let's uh, just get another tower. And then... We'll play a Worm Coil Engine. 
And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get backups of all of our lands for when our opponent draws a spreading seas. I'm not sure if they have a spreading seas, but they're probably going to hit our power plant, which will suck. Um, all right. If our opponent can't kill our worm coil, okay. He didn't kill our worm coil. I'm not. I'm not really worried about this right now. That is fine. Let's see. Because we have. Uh, we have. What do we have? Fourteen mana. Is that enough? Or wait, we have thirteen mana. Oh, that's just enough. So we'll play that sucker again. We'll play Karn. We're going to have our opponent exile a card from their hand. All right. And our opponent gives up. And that, my friends, is uh, drawn. <laughs> now, I'm going to put in the batter's cool in this matchup, not because he's going to, you know, I'm worried about our opponent killing it or anything. It's because it gains us life, which is always really nice. And I'm going to take out our Eldrazi because I don't think they're that good in this matchup. And we're going to take out Pyroclasm because they're not that good in this matchup. And we're going to definitely put in our four Rending Volleys. And I'm trying to think, do we need anything else? Um, maybe Nature's Claims to wipe out the Aether Vials? But probably not. I don't usually board those in. And the Batter Souls probably isn't even necessary. But... Um, that four life, you know, can keep us alive or, you know, give us a blocker or, you know, something. Even when he's got a whole bunch of four fours or whatever. Um, in that game, he didn't draw any spreading seas. And, you know, maybe maybe we got lucky or maybe that's just the norm. But uh, this is how I'm going to run it. We're going to see what happens. So, uh, ideally, this, uh, this match gets easier for us. So our opponent is playing first. All right. Now this hand. So this hand's a little bit different than the other hands. Um, it's only got one Tron piece, but it's got colored mana, which is awesome. And it's got this brick. It's a brick right now. But we can play our Ancient Servings, we can play Rending Volley, we can play Fire Spout if we draw one more land. Which I'm confident if we play Ancient Tur ancient Stirrings, we can find. So we're keeping this. And we're going to hold the Rending Volley up for Shooting Lords. Huh. I wonder what our opponent's going to do with that. Oh, okay. I will take a mine, thank you. All right, no Lord on turn two. Um, yeah, that sucks. We'll take one, that's okay. And I think our opponent may have taken a uh, slightly subpar hand. Just because... Um, they had a spreading seas, you know. They know that messes us up. I ain't gonna lie, it messes us up. <laughs> yeah, that is why. That is why they kept this hand. Uh, it's not very aggressive, I'm assuming. Um, but that's okay, because we still have. Uh, well, we have one more Tron land, and we have a way to search up more Tron land. So, oh, all right. Well, crap. This isn't that bad. We're just drawing Tron lands left and right. So, um, I want to play the Grove of the Burn Willows, but I definitely do not want that to get spreading seized. Because that, that, that would be a big problem. Alright, we'll go, uh.
power plant. So, yeah, I think our opponent kept the same because they had double spread ECs. I'm assuming they had four in their deck, because why would you not, you know? Because uh, it messes up every deck, unless they're playing mono blue. But there's really nothing that they could do to be more aggressive, I don't think. And it's all just utility stuff. Okay, now they can play some lords. Yep. Okay, no lord. Wow, do they not have a lord? Or do I think those extra two points of damage are worth it? Well, this is looking much, much good, much good right now, uh, being that we have a Dismember for one Lord and a Rending Volley for another, and then a Fire Spout to clean up the mess. Sure. See, and then our opponent's going to violin a lord. After I don't block. Oh, they didn't violin a lord. Huh. Okay. I suppose. So let's see, how much is this? Two, three, four. We've got six mana. <laughs> I've got six mana and a uh, Karn in hand. So, okay. We're going to play Batter Skull. Uh, and the reason we're doing this like this is because we have Rending Volley that can't be countered. Uh, but our opponent probably has Vapor Snag. Yeah, they got Vapor Snag. That's fine. That's kind of a bummer. Now we're going to pay 8 mana. We don't See, the problem is we're playing Tron, so we should have 8 mana. But we don't have 8 mana. Uh, next turn, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Ancient Stirrings. For sure. That is fine. I will take 1. Um, okay. What are these? Elementals? Um, do I want to kill that thing right now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 because he's got Curse Catcher. All right, um, let's play Sylvan Scrying, just because it's a guaranteed hit on a tower all right now now I feel better I feel pretty good now um, let's play that and then I think we're going to exile the Master of Waves. Uh, I don't know if that's the right play if we should have done the Ether Vial because we have the Dismember for the Master of Waves. But I I'm going to bet our opponent has another Master of Waves. Um, otherwise, why would you take up to four? Unless he had that guy, the Bounce guy from one of the new sets. They'll let you play with... Oh, come on, man. All right. Sure. Now he's going to attack Karn, I'm sure. Why well, I would think. Yeah, both attacking Karn. 
All right. Let's see what our opponent does. All right. Well, let's... Uh, Let's dismember. And our opponent has a spell pierce. Okay. Um, that we can't pay for. Target white or blue creature. It doesn't gain any color. Okay, that's fine. We'll rending value your curse catcher. And I don't think there are any more folk lords that cost four. All right. We will have our opponent exile a card from their hand. And then we will play our ancient strings, looking for yet another tower, which we do not find. Um. Now, see, this is one of those times where I wonder, Ugin or, like, an expedition map? Um, seven. I do have eight mana. Um... Uh, but I do like the Worm Coil Engine. And it gains us life, and I like that. I do like that the Worm Coil Engine gains us some life. So, uh, hopefully our opponent's not going to do something crazy now. And violent a guy with crap. I knew he was going to do this. Saw that coming. And, well, they managed to beat us. All right, fair enough. But I want to point out in 18 cards, they drew triple. Seas, which is pretty darn good. Um, yeah. See, I'm kind of thinking we maybe should have done that um, Ether Vial, because then they wouldn't have been able to do those tricks. They wouldn't have won if they couldn't do the trick, and they couldn't have... Um, you know, our opponent wouldn't have won if they couldn't, you know, do the Vial tricks. All right. Well, I definitely don't like one-landers, especially when our only way to do anything is cost two. So we're going to throw this one back. Okay. This one I don't, I don't particularly care for either, but we do have an expedition map which guarantees us a, 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 a land, and then we have three chromatic star slash fear effects so we'll keep that keep those and we'll play a land and a chromatic sphere on turn one and generally tron is a uh, uh one of those matchups for for us, one of the matchups where uh, it should be really easy. So let's go ahead and crack that, play that. Let's crack it also. Um, and then we will play Ancient Stirrings. All right, we came across Double Mine. So we should be able to... Now, assuming our opponent doesn't draw triple uh, C's again, but I, I I would venture to say they probably have a spreading C's. So, okay, no spreading C's. Nice. So we're going to Tron them. Bam. Tron. And uh, 
We're going to go Karn. This is how these games are supposed to go. All right, that's good. I like that. And now if our opponent um, spreading sees us, it doesn't matter. Well, m matters less. Let's let's be realistic here. It matters less. But we are at 20 life, which is convenient. So there's a lot less to worry about regarding... A lot less to worry about regarding, um, you know, dying to a vapor snag or something ridiculous like that. So let's see. Our opponent can exile a card. And they exile an island. Okay. And I, I'm assuming they're playing X turn is to hit Karn for five. Um, unless they have another land and another lord. Or like, a, you know the perfect cards which they might and it happens more often than uh, you know than I ever want to admit admit it will okay that is fine and a mirror Regery sure Fine, you can hit my card down to four. All right. So we're going to exile the Mirror Reedry because that's going to kill us. Guarantee it, you know. Um, we'll play another Chromatic Star and we'll replay our Worm Coil. And pass the turn back. And, you know, our opponent, I don't know how they feel about this. Uh, but I have noticed that when I play against Tron, it just feels so hopeless a lot of the time. Because it's like, they have a Worm Coil engine in a car, and I can't do anything. Um, but, then again, uh, other times... Oh, okay. Uh, other times it feels like, you know... Um, you know, if we can keep Tron off its stuff, we can win. But these particular games I noticed that are especially interesting uh, because when I play Tron, I don't feel like we're in that commanding position. I don't I don't feel like it's equal. Um, yeah, he's going to play that guy that bounced our guy. That's fine. Um... Let's see, let's pop this for a red. We'll draw a card. It's an ancient stirrings, great. And then we're gonna kill the Lord. All right, now I think we got this game in the bag pretty handily. Um, all we have to do is block his stuff when they attack, plus Karn or minus Karn if we have three, uh, you know, four or more counters. We don't want to lose Karn. Sure, Silver Girl get Adept, not a problem. We'll just take that card next turn by minusing Karn. Or uh, plusing Karn, rather. Sorry. And our opponent concedes. So that is uh, Tron against Merfolk. So see you guys next round.